Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Ribbit, ribbit, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> what are these sounds? Let's talk about it. What sound does a duck make? Quack, quack, quack. What sound does a frustrated person make? Ugh. What sound does a car horn make? Beep, beep. Today, you are going to level up your English skills by being able to make sounds like an English speaker. When I lived in France, I noticed that French people said tuk 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 for things moving and I for pain. But for me, I had never used those sounds in my life. And to truly sound like a French speaker, I had to adopt those extra sounds into my French speaking experience. To truly sound like a proficient English speaker, yes, you need to have good grammar, yes, you need to have good vocabulary skills, but there are these sounds that are not exactly words, they're just sounds that are included in our conversations as we're telling stories about things that happened, as you are reenacting things, they just come up a lot in conversations. So I would like you to be able to use them as naturally as possible. I've separated these sounds into three categories. The first one is the most simple animal sounds, meow, meow. <laughs> the second one is a little bit more difficult sounds for things, ring, ring. <laughs> and the final category is the most difficult and that is human sounds. <laughs> Let's get started. For our first category, animal sounds, I'm going to make the sounds and then I want you to guess quickly which animal you think it is. Let's start with the first one. Our first animal actually has many different sounds that it makes. Woof, woof, roof, roof, bark, bark, how, grrr. What animal makes all of these sounds? It is a dog. The typical sound we associate with a dog is woof, 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 woof. What about this sound? Meow, meow, or hiss. <laughs> this is a cat. When a cat is happy, meow. When a cat is angry, hiss. What about this animal? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Or a bigger version, caw, caw. <laughs> this is a bird. A small bird say tweet, tweet, tweet. This is similar to, you might notice, Twitter. Twitter, the social media, their logo is a bird and it's based on this sound, tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet is the sound of a bird and it is also the thing that you write. You write a tweet on Twitter. So it's kind of evolved from this sound. Or if you have a bigger bird, like a raven or a crow, it will say, caw, caw. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. What animal says, nay, or whinny? <laughs> it is a horse. The typical sound we associate with a horse is nay. And you can say, nay. <laughs> what about moo? It's a cow. Moo. What animal says, hee-haw, hee-haw? <laughs> this lesson is very strange and very fun, so thank you for enjoying it with me. It is a donkey. A donkey says, hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. What about, oink, 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 oink? It is a pig, oink, oink. Sometimes we make a kind of snorting sound, like <laughs> <laughs> associated with a pig, but if you want to use a word, specific word for a pig, it's just oink oink, oink oink. What animal says ba ba? It's a sheep. Bok 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 bok. It's a chicken. What about a baby chicken? What does a chick say? Cheep 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 cheep. So cute. Cheep 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 cheep. What about this sound? Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> this is the male chicken, the rooster. I know that every language has a very creative way for saying a rooster sound. Cock a doodle doo is what we say in English, but I want to know in your native language, what does a rooster say? <laughs> what about this sound? Quack, 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 quack. It's a duck. Ribbit. Ribbit, not rabbit, ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. It's a frog. Hoo, 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 hoo. It's an owl. Hiss, hiss. 
This is not a cat again. <laughs> Instead, it is a snake. Sometimes we say hiss, and sometimes we just say an S sound. Who says squeak, 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 squeak? It is a mouse probably being chased by a snake. Squeak, 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 squeak. There are several animals that say roar or growl. Those are lion, tiger, bear, and probably other variations of these animals. This kind of big, uh, scary sounds, roar or growl. And our last animal sound is buzz. This could be a bee, or it could really be any insect. Sometimes we don't make such a strong buzz sound for other insects, just buzz, kind of focusing on the Z for other insects. But if you're talking about a bee, it is definitely buzz. The next category of sounds are things, the sound that things make. The first one is knock, knock, knock. What is this? Knock, knock, knock. Or we could just make a tongue clicking sound. And it is a door. When you knock on a door, we also use that same verb to make the sound. Knock, knock, knock. Honk, 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 honk. This is a car honking its horn, probably in traffic. Honk, honk. What about beep, 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 beep? This could be a little car. It could be a bike, kind of horn on a bike, beep, beep, coming through. <laughs> but it is that idea of a little horn, beep, 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 beep. What about ding, 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 or bring? <laughs> this is a bell. There are two different ways to signify the sound of a bell. Ding, ding, ding is the first one or bring with an emphasis on the R. That's kind of the, the trill of the bell. Bring or ding, 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 ding is a bell ringing. What do you think of when you hear K <laughs> K This is something cracking, probably an egg cracking. If you are, you know, cooking with your kids and you're trying to make it more exciting, this is something that I love to do with my three-year-old son. When we're cracking eggs, as we crack the egg, we'll hit it on the side of the bowl, k -k -k, and I'll make that sound. Even though the egg is also making that sound, I will make this cracking sound with my voice. K -k -k -k. All right, there's the egg. And this is just a way that you can easily incorporate these sounds and you can sound much more natural and like an English speaker when you use them. All right, let's go to the next one. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> you might notice a lot of these sounds are repeated. It's either said twice or three times. Wee -oo, wee -oo. This is a siren sound. It could be a fire truck, it could be an ambulance, it could be a police car, but it's that idea of a siren. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> This is a drum. Bum, 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 bum. But if we make this a little bit lower, bum, bum, it's the sound of a gong. A gong is a deeper sounding, kind of like a drum, a deeper sounding instrument, but it has that same word, that same sound, bum, but at a different tone. What about tick tock, tick tock, tick tock? This is a clock, the sound that a clock makes. Tick Duck. Do you have a clock that makes this sound in your house? I think it's becoming increasingly more common to have digital clocks, but in our house we do have a face clock and it makes this ticking sound. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The final sound in the thing category is boink, boink, or bonk, bonk. <laughs> what is that? That is a ball bouncing. Boinky, boinky, boinky. Sometimes we also say bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. When my son wants to throw a ball in our house if it's a rainy day, there is a safe place to do this. We close all of the doors to the bedroom, the bathroom, the office, and there is a hallway with nothing to break. So he can throw kind of like a light ball. Usually with us, it's kind of a fun time. We throw the ball, he chases it, kind of like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fun time and as the ball bounces, sometimes we say bouncy, bouncy, bouncy or boink, boink, bonk, bonk as it hits the wall. So this is kind of the sound of a ball bouncing. 
Our final category are sounds that humans make. Sometimes these are sounds to signify our emotions and how we're feeling. So this is key to be able to understand these. You can also see someone's facial expressions, usually, unless you're talking on the phone, to be able to link with the sounds that they're making. I think these sounds are slightly different in each language, so by upping your game, leveling up your English, and using the same sounds that English speakers use, you will just be able to be more completely fluent in English. All right, let's start with the first human sound. Achoo! <laughs> this is sneezing. Achoo! Achoo! Shh! Quiet. Shh! Notice that there's no other sound here. There's no T, there's no C. I know some other countries say ch with a T at the beginning. Some make it a little bit stronger of a ch sound, ch. But in English, it's just S-H. Shh, shh. I make this sound all the time as I'm helping my baby fall asleep. Shh, shh, shh. Talking about babies, what is wah, wah? <laughs> this is a baby crying, a baby who's not happy. But what about a baby who is happy? They might say, Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> this is as a baby is learning different sounds of its native language. They aren't really making words, but they're just making different sounds. We might say, oh, goo goo ga ga. And the, we're imitating what the baby is doing. That is what babies say. They say goo goo ga ga. Even if they're saying other sounds, that is the expression we use, the sound that we use to talk about a baby practicing language. Blah, 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 blah. This is just talking. <laughs> when people are talking, we say blah, 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 blah. What about la, la, la? This is singing. To signify singing, we sometimes just use the sounds la, 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 la. If I went, <clears throat> what would that mean to you? <laughs> if I walked up behind you and I said, <clears throat> In English, this would feel a little uncomfortable because it's a way to get someone's attention and it's usually kind of strong, like, Ahem. I heard that you were talking about me, but I wanted you to know I'm here. <laughs> Look around, stop talking about me because I'm here. So we would say, ahem, ahem, and you kind of clear your throat. That's the term used for <laughs> You're trying to clear your throat, but you're saying the word ahem at the same time. Ahem, <laughs> I'm here, a little uncomfortable. <laughs> you can see from my face and my hand motions here, <laughs> I am cold. <laughs> Slurp. <laughs> it's this sound of ingesting a lot of liquid at one time. It could be from a water bottle. It could be from a soup bowl. <laughs> but we use that kind of strange tongue sound, which is slurp, but this is the sound we make to talk about drinking a lot of liquid. Or if you are, uh, for example, trying to drink a whole beer at one time, <laughs> you're trying to chug the beer, we might say glug, 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 <laughs> glug, 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 and it kind of is imitating the sound of your throat. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Hmm. This is thinking. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> I'm scared. Ah! Ee! Ooh. <laughs> I'm amazed. As you're watching fireworks, you will often hear people say this. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Ha, 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 ha. This is laughing. It is, of course, slowed down and simplified. But if someone says something that's a little funny and it's maybe not hilarious, but you want to show that you're laughing, you might exaggerate and say, ha 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 ha, ha ha ha. On the other hand, what if I said, mwah ha 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 ha, mwah ha 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 ha. <laughs> you might think that I was hatching a plot to take over the world, mwah ha ha. This is an evil laugh. So sometimes in movies, you might see the evil character say, mwah ha 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 ha. Oh, <laughs> what 
kind of emotion am I feeling? Ugh. <laughs> I am extremely frustrated. If I log on to the computer and it says, your website is down. That means my website's not working. Oh no, this is a technical nightmare. It is very frustrating. I am an English teacher. I am not always a tech expert. So I might say, oh, and I need to figure out a way to solve the problem. Ooh, ooh. I don't really even know how to write this. <laughs> this is my best attempt. But what happens if I say, ooh, what do you get the feeling that just happened? Maybe I um, stepped in some dog poop. <laughs> Maybe I just squished a caterpillar under my shoe. Ugh, it's something that's gross. <laughs> so you're feeling like repulsed. Ugh, ugh, like you don't want to be close to that thing. <laughs> Our final sound in this human sound category is ouch or ow. You can kind of guess what this means, right? Maybe you are hammering something and you hammer your finger, ow, or ouch. <laughs> Both of these are used to talk about the sound of pain, ow, or ouch. This would be a true test of your English skills if when you hit your finger with a hammer, if you make the English sound, ouch, or ow, wow. That means that you have really immersed yourself in English that even in a moment of pain, you can say, ouch. <laughs> now it is time for a little test. I want you to watch this conversation and to see how these sounds were integrated into what we were talking about. This is just a natural way to use these sounds in your daily conversation. Let's watch. Did you get stuck in the traffic jam yesterday? Yeah, it was awful. All I heard for hours was honk, honk, honk. Yeah, I heard that there was a wreck. Hmm, I guess you're right. I did hear some loud sirens going wee oo, wee oo off in the distance. Yeah, I was stuck in traffic too, but I was trying to take my dog to the vet. And whenever he heard the sirens, he kept going ruff, 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 ruff. It was so annoying. <laughs> oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, but the car beside mine had a box of baby chicks in the front seat. I guess they just came from the store buying them. And all I heard was cheep, 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 cheep the whole time I was in traffic. <laughs> After sitting in traffic for hours, I turned my car off and fell asleep. Next thing I know, there's a policeman at my door saying, ahem, time to get going. Ha ha ha, I bet you woke up really fast. Now I have a question for you. Let me know in the comments, what sound do a dog and a cat make in your native language? It is fascinating to me that we all hear the same animal sounds, but we interpret that in slightly different ways. I love learning about this from other countries. So share with me in the comments how you say meow and woof in your native language and let's learn from each other. Thank you so much for learning English with me and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on this YouTube channel. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. You'll learn what you need to do to speak confidently and fluently. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free lessons. Thanks so much. Bye.